going to Travis in Minnesota who wants to take his wife to some of the best atmospheres in all of, all of college football. So what are the best places to tailgate in college football? And can you give me five games in 2023 where the tailgates will be incredible? <laughs> well, I love the tailgate scene, right? And everyone always naturally goes to, oh, you know, Ole Miss or uh, LSU or Clemson or whatever. Like to me, some of the coolest tailgates are the places that you've never really been to. Like one of the coolest tailgating experiences. Now we don't get to tailgate. Uh, I wish we could. Like I, there have been many times where I've been like walking past some tailgates. I'm like, man, it'd be really fun to stop in for a dog or something before we head up to the booth, whatever the circumstances are. So we don't get to tailgate, but I think there are always some really good opportunities. Now, LSU Ole Miss is always going to be top 10. Like that, that doesn't matter what the circumstances are. That one's always going to be top 10. You get those two teams together. You get those two teams playing against each other. The, I mean, the fan bases are very different and yet very similar all at the same time. So that's got to be one that would be at or near the top of the list. I also think even though it's not a traditional tailgate environment, Texas, Oklahoma is always a very unique scene. You're going to the state fair. You wear your crimson and cream or you wear your burnt orange. That one to me is always going to be Unique. I also think this year, I want to go to Stillwater for Bedlam. Because if you think about, look, there's no love lost between the two programs already. But you throw in the fact that those two teams are going to tee it up for the final time. Perhaps they say it's the final time. I don't necessarily buy that. But look, I got to take their word for it. I think that one's going to be unique. Another one that I would think would be pretty special. uh, I'm going to go to Milan Pushkar Stadium for the backyard brawl. You give me Pitt, you give me West Virginia in Morgantown. Good luck (laughs) because that's going to be a scene there on the 16th of September that will be as chaotic and as hectic and as much fun as pretty much any. Now, it might be pretty hostile. I'm not going to sit here and say it will, won't be. It's going to be pretty hostile. Uh, but I kind of like hostile when thinking about tailgating settings. And then one place that I always like to throw in that nobody ever really knows about, but I'll tell you this, man. Appalachian State is awesome. If you can get to Boone and just check it out. I've been in that stadium. I've seen it. I think that place is awesome. Now, unfortunately, I would have told you for North Carolina last year, that would have been the one that you would want to circle. This year's a little bit trickier to figure out. Maybe for the Coastal Carolina game, that's on October 10th. Maybe that's the one you want to go to. But either way, T Boone, or excuse me, T Boone, Boone, uh, North Carolina is awesome. So check those out. Those would be a few at the top of my list. But as you can tell, I'm kind of sick. You know, I'm kind of like, you know, why would I want to go to a place where there's probably going to be brawls? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, why do I want to go somewhere where there are people going to be throwing drinks at each other? I don't know, because I'm crazy. Like, why? why, why I, don't, I can't explain it. I'm not going to apologize for it. But I think I would go to the most hostile setting possible and try to play Peacemaker. Why not? I think that's what you should do. 